Morning guys. Today we're going to take a look at the file called Additional Topic Dilations and Their Formal Properties. All right. On the end of course exam, dilations will be assessed in two different ways. The first and easiest uh, or easier of the two is to simply perform a dilation, which is not too bad, right? Kx comma Ky multiply the coordinates by the scale factor. Then there's going to be a question or two that's a little bit more theoretical, where they're going to ask you exactly how a dilation works, all right? So this is going to be a little bit uh, cerebral, all right, meaning it's kind of like out there. That's okay. At the end of the day, all you really need to know are those first four statements that are on that document, okay? All right. When a line is dilated using a center of dilation that is not on the line, the resulting line is parallel to the original. Let's show how that actually works, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my straight edge for a moment and I'm gonna draw myself a line. The way I know it's a line and not a line segment is the presence of those arrows. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna draw myself a point and I'll call that point my center of dilation. Notice that that point right now is not on the line, okay? It's not on the line. So what that's going to mean is that if I want to dilate this, all right? And let's say I'm dilating by like a scale factor of two, just to make things easy, all right? Here's what I'm going to do. However far it was from the center of dilation to that line, it's about 12 centimeters, I'm just going to go twice as far. So I'm going to put a little dot. Oh no, my marker's dead. Oh no. <laughs> let's try that again. All right, I'm gonna put a little dot twice as far away at 24 centimeters. Then I'm gonna do exactly the same thing over here. All right, so here it was about uh, 16, so I'm gonna put it at 32 centimeters. All right, so when I connect those two dots, I want you guys to notice what I've created. Hold on. I've actually created myself a new line that is parallel, okay? It's parallel to the original. Now here's something to keep in mind though. The length of the line, even though it looks like it's longer, the length's not gonna change because lines go on forever in both directions. The key thing to keep in mind here is that when I perform a dilation on a line and the center of dilation is not on the line, the resulting line is parallel to the original. Now let's take a look at what happens when I dilate a line segment instead, okay? Where is my eraser? There's my eraser. So, when a line segment is dilated using a center of dilation that's not on the line, so basically the same situation we saw here except dealing with line segments instead, the resulting segment is parallel to the original and either longer or shorter, depending on the scale factor used. And let's show that, guys, with an example, okay? All right, so I'm gonna do pretty much what I did before. I'm gonna draw myself a line segment. Here we go, line segment. And I'm gonna put a center of dilation right over here, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dilate the line segment, but this time I'm gonna dilate it by a scale factor of one half. So let's think about how this would work, okay? When I dilate it by a scale factor of one half, that means that however far it was from the center of dilation to the end point, I'm only gonna need half of that. So instead of 28 here, I'm just gonna use 14. I'm gonna put a little point there. Okay, then I'm gonna come over here and do exactly the same thing. Okay, so, the, oh, look at that, <laughs> it was 28 as well. So I'm gonna put a little point at 14, there we go. Now I'm gonna connect these two dots to create my new line segment. And notice something interesting. This line segment right here is half the length of this one, and it's also parallel to the original segment. Okay, now let's take a look at some examples of what happens when I dilate lines and line segments and a center of dilation is on the line. When a line is dilated using a center of dilation on the line itself, 
the resulting line is identical to the original. If you don't believe me, let's take a look at why, okay? All right, so here's a line, and here's the center of dilation, okay? Basically, what's going to happen is, no matter what the scale factor, the length's not going to change, because guess what? Lines already go on forever in both directions, okay? And um, because the scale factors, because the center of dilation is on the line, it's going to be growing in this direction and this direction. So it's not going to change. The line is exactly the same as the original, okay? With line segments, it's going to be slightly different. And let's take a look at an example of how that's the case. When a line segment is dilated using a center of dilation on the line itself, the resulting segment is coincident with, meaning it lies right on top of the original, and is longer or shorter depending on the scale factor used. Let's take a look at how this is going to work, okay? Here, my dear friends, is a line segment. And here is my center of dilation, okay? I'm going to label this big C for center of dilation. Now, let's say that I want to dilate this line segment by a scale factor of two. Let me say that again. Let's say I want to dilate the line segment by a scale factor of two. Well, here's what that's going to mean. However far it was from the center of dilation to the end point, I'm going to have to go twice as far. So there I go. The same thing in the other direction, right? However far it was, in this case it's about seven centimeters, I got to go twice as far. And so in that case, guys, when I actually connect the two dots, look at what happens, okay? The new line segment lies right on top of the original, but it just, in this case, is longer because the scale factor was twice as big, okay? Again, if you're like, oh my god, like, I don't know if I could deal with this, like, what the heck did you just do? That's okay. Remember, the majority of questions on the EOC are just going to be about performing dilations using KX, KY, which is pretty simple. That being said, there's guaranteed to be at least one question where you have to know these properties of dilations, okay? So please, 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 these first four lines, they're very important. What we just filled in together on this document, very important, guaranteed one or two questions on the EOC. And guess what? There's like no math involved, right? No calculations, no equations. So for some of you guys, these questions are ideal for picking up additional points.